all of that. What an honor and a privilege it is to have the opportunity to speak to you this morning. And I thank God for that, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, my God. I, I count it a true blessing unto me to be able to share with you today. For in all things we're called to give praise and thanksgiving. And how very thankful I am today that our founder, Doris Christopher, followed her dream and created a company that not only changed her life, but the countless lives of so many others. Doris, because you came, my life has totally been changed, and I am forever grateful. Yes, you can clap for that. Take us to church, my God. Take us to church. This company is not just the best, not one of the best direct selling companies to be a part of, but it is the absolute best to be a part of. For we truly have a mission, a mission that empowers all people to put a quality meal on the table for themselves and their family so that they can have that quality time they need to gather around the table together. That is what we do. We truly have the power, as you, you truly have the power as a consultant in this business, not only to consult, but to be a life changer. We really are missionaries, and the missionary field is ready to harvest. Are you thinking of your business in that way? I hope you are. You know, when I started my business in 2002, I truly had no idea the impact that this company would have on my life. Not to mention the countless friendships I would make. See, when you have a dream and you never give up, you will get there. That's right. The only way you fail at this business is to quit. You are truly one show, the next show, away from turning your business completely around. Getting a new star or finding that next superstar. But you must stay the course. Last fall, with 10 months ago Monday, I was involved in a very serious accident, car accident. And there was a choice that had to be made. Was I gonna let fear stand in the way of continuing my business? Would I physically be able to continue doing this business? You see, in that accident, my left foot was broken two places. My right knee was as big as a cantaloupe. My elbow suffered serious tissue damage. And my right hip was cracked. You got this, Michael. Instead of planning for a recovery and rehab, my family could very easily have been planning a funeral. My thought after the accident was, have I made a difference while I've been here? What would my eulogy have read? Then it hit me like a ton of bricks. The last thing I did before the accident was a cooking show. <laughs> I was actually on the way home from doing that cooking show. I hadn't gone 15 minutes away from the host house when bam, there was a dump truck and I was in the back of it. None of us are promised tomorrow. Your life can change in the blink of an eye. Then I realized, yes, I am truly making a difference in the life of the people I'm meeting. And I'm helping individuals and their families. If that would have been the last show, my guests and hosts had a great time. <laughs> and they also got to learn 
learn some ways to make cooking easier. <laughs> I also realized that I truly love what I do. <laughs> and when you love what you do, you'll never work another day in your life. <laughs> So I decided to make my circumstances a stepping stone instead of an excuse not to do the business. I held my first cooking show in the rehab hospital kitchen on September <laughs> And that was also the last day of the month, so I closed out three other shows before that accident, along with my physical therapy that day. I returned to church to stay in the choir on October the 10th, wow. using a walker, walking on a broken foot. And 29 days after the accident, I was sitting at my first scale, first full scale cooking show live. <laughs> Two of my consultants from my team drove me to show. They loaded and unloaded the van. I love you, Kathy Curran and Loretta Wilson. Because you care, my business was able to continue. We did 30 cooking shows between October 17th and December the 15th. And I proved that you can still do a great cooking show while sitting down at a table, using a walker, or sitting in a wheelchair. Yeah. So while there are so many choices of where we can work and all, and all different types of companies we can be a part of, what other company can you be a part of with a mission like this one? What other product can you offer that not only betters the life of the customer directly, but also makes life better for their entire family? Every person, every walk of life, everyone who eats is a potential customer, or a host, or a business partner. Not very many companies can say that. Wow. We have a lot of work to do. So let's, yes, let's get busy. Pamperizing planet Earth. <laughs> you know, our founder, Doris Christopher, created this company with a veggie peeler, a pizza stone, and a Plymouth Valari. <laughs> Thank God she didn't turn around that, that night. Just imagine, though, what we can do with our power tools. The rock crop, the grill pans, and the internet. <laughs> In closing, I would like to thank all, every single one of you, for all of your prayers, your thoughts, your cards, your emails, your phone calls, and your gifts. You'll never know how much you encourage me and my family through such a difficult time. You see, one of the best perks of this business is becoming a member of this family.
and everyone watching on the webcast. From the bottom of my heart, many thanks to all of you. But it would be a great disservice for me not to publicly thank from this stage today the person who started me with the journey on this with this on this journey with this company, who will who I'll ever be so grateful to, my consultant, my director, my life changing friend, advanced director Debbie Reason. My life has forever been changed. Thank you so much. Could you please stand so we can all give you a round of applause? <laughs> 